The year is 2006. Hips Don't Lie is at the top of the charts, and the era of Soldier Boy is nearly upon us. You are seven years old, and all you covet is what any child raised during the Bush administration wants. Some fresh-ass Heelys. You are at your local Payless when you spot a pair. All pink, covered in glitter, Hello Kitty brand. The perfect accessory to a weekend of sin and debauchery. A scrawny girl with a blonde bob makes a grab for them, but much like the cassowary or a giraffe, your legs are your first weapon of choice. You deliver a kick to young Taylor Swift's throat. Violence isn't the answer, children, but sometimes sacrifices must be made. You clutch the shoes in your tiny ethnic hands and look upon the Hello Kitty logo. You swear you can hear her let out a slight giggle. She doesn't have a mouth, though. You ignore this. You then push through the crowd of portly moms and their sweaty spawn before reaching the cash register. Ring me up, Scotty, you exclaim. The cashier says, my name is Tom. You say, good for you. The shoes are purchased. At last, you have them in your possession. You peer into Hello Kitty's eyes. You look at her. She looks at you. You look at her. She looks at you. You think you spot her wink. Oh, how she teases you. The next day, you strut down the street with the bad boys on full display. A group of male youths are loitering nearby. The alpha of the pack suddenly notices you. He yells, Man, those are some whack-ass shoes. His friends proceed to point their witch-like fingers at you and cackle. You peer down at Hello Kitty, but alas, those dark, soulless pupils offer no solace. Junie B. Jones should have prepared you for this.